China has just taken another bold step in the global aviation race. Comac, the Commercial Aircraft Corporation of China, has officially begun work on its newest wide-body aircraft, the C-939. And this isn't just another plane. This is a direct challenge to two of the industry's most dominant players, the Airbus A350 and the Boeing 777. If Comac can pull this off, we will witness a massive shift in the landscape of global aviation. What you're looking at isn't just another airplane. This is the Comac C-939, China's aviation masterpiece poised to disrupt the global balance of power in the skies. For over half a century, Boeing and Airbus have ruled the commercial aircraft industry. But now, backed by the full force of the world's second largest economy, China is stepping into the arena with a challenge that could reshape the future of flight. The C-939 is the latest in Comac's lineup, building on the progress they've made with the smaller C-919 and ARJ-21. But this time, the stakes are higher. We're talking about a twin-aisle long-haul aircraft designed to go head-to-head -head with some of the most successful widebodies flying today. The C-939's mission? To break into the lucrative market currently dominated by Western manufacturers and to prove that China can design and build a world-class long-range aircraft that competes in performance, efficiency, and passenger comfort. Across design centers in China, a revolution is unfolding, not with weapons, but with engineering calculations, CAD models, and an ambition of staggering proportions. China isn't just building planes, they're constructing a full aviation ecosystem to break America and Europe's decades-long grip on the skies. And they're doing it faster than anyone expected. The stakes? By 2040, airlines will need over 39,000 new aircraft worth more than $6 trillion, as estimated by Airbus. For decades, this market belonged almost entirely to Boeing and Airbus. As China's economy and air traffic continue to grow, its commercial fleet size will grow by 4.1% annually over the next two decades, to 9,740 jets by 2043, and more than half of the new deliveries will be used to meet growing demand, according to Boeing's latest commercial market outlook. Hence, the C-939 isn't just another aircraft program, it's part of China's long-term plan to become a major force in global aviation. Success here would mean reduced reliance on foreign aircraft, a stronger domestic aerospace industry, and an increased geopolitical influence in markets where China is already building infrastructure through initiatives like the Belt and Road. Rather than just rattling off numbers, let's picture it. The preliminary design has hinted that the C-939 could feature a wide cabin with seating for around 280 to 400 passengers, depending on custom configuration chosen by the airline. Think of the comfort of an A350 or 777 cabin, but with Comac's own design touches. Its wingspan, expected to stretch over 64 meters, could potentially carry advanced composite materials for reduced weight and improved fuel burn. Powering it could very likely be new generation turbofan engines, either developed domestically or in partnership with established engine makers, designed to meet modern efficiency and emission standards. Cruising speed? Expected to be about Mach 0.85, now, if that works, it could very likely put in parallel with its Western rivals. Range? With a projected ambitious range close to 13,000 kilometers, it could connect major cities like Beijing to New York or Shanghai to London nonstop. This is the kind of capability that can very likely position an aircraft from being a domestic flagship to a real competitor in the global aviation market. In early 2024, news of the C-939 emerged. By May, Comac confirmed that the development had begun. Expected to be the largest aircraft China had ever built, the C-939's preliminary design shows the aircraft can exceed 76 meters in length, carrying around 400 passengers and even boasts a range of 13,000 kilometers. Comac is ambitious about the maximum takeoff weight that could fall in the range between 280 and 320 tons, rivaling the largest twin-engine aircraft in operation by Boeing and Airbus. Cabin layouts could be highly flexible, with configurations for ultra-comfort and high-capacity transport. China isn't just designing aircraft, they're building the global maintenance network, pilot training centers, and financing structures needed to support them. By the time the C-939 is ready, this infrastructure could very well be in place already. Comac isn't shy about its intentions. The C-939 is a direct competitor to the Airbus A350-900 and the Boeing 777-8. Both of these aircraft are proven in long-haul service with global customer bases and years of operational data. Comac is stepping into a tough arena, but the company knows it can't capture market share without offering airlines a compelling alternative, one that matches performance but possibly undercuts on price.
Enter the C929, China's first twin aisle long haul aircraft aimed squarely at the Boeing 787 and Airbus A350. Seating 250 to 320 passengers, with ranges up to 12,000 kilometers, it could connect Beijing to New York or Shanghai to London nonstop. Building such an aircraft is aviation's ultimate technical challenge. Composite material mastery, engine development, and certification hurdles all stand in the way. But Comac doesn't need to outclass Western jets immediately, it just needs to be good enough at a lower cost. With variants planned for different capacities and launch customer Air China already committed, the C929 could debut as early as 2029. If the C929 is ambitious, the C939 is audacious. Designed to rival the Boeing 777X, this 400-passenger ultra-long-haul aircraft would be powered by China's own CJ2000 engine, currently in development. With a possible debut in the 2030s, the C939 is more than an aircraft. It's the symbol of China's ultimate aviation ambitions. For airlines, a credible third manufacturer means leverage in negotiations. For passengers, it could mean lower fares. For Boeing and Airbus, it's a direct challenge to their dominance, a challenge backed by national ambition and long-term strategic patience. Additionally, advances in modern jet engines like the GE9X and Rolls-Royce Trent XWB now make twin-engine jumbo jets viable, offering fuel savings of over 25% compared to four-engine designs. However, Comac's long-term goal is to power it with the domestically developed CJ3000, targeting around 45 tons of thrust per engine, on par with the most powerful in the world. If successful, the C939 could mark a historic turning point for China's aviation industry. More than just a plane, it's a statement of independence, resilience, and strategic vision, reducing reliance on foreign suppliers while reshaping the global aerospace market. Now, according to the South China Morning Post, Comac has begun early studies on a new wide-body aircraft, the C-939. The C-939 is distinct from the still-in-development C-929, a twin-engine aircraft designed for about 280 passengers with a 12,000-kilometer range, similar to Boeing's 787. While the C-929 focuses on the medium to long-haul market, the C-939 is envisioned as an even larger long-haul jet that could seat around 400 passengers. If realized, this would position the C-939 as a direct competitor to Boeing's 777X, which can carry about 400 passengers over distances of up to 16,200 kilometers, 8,745 nm. Such a move would allow Comac to cover the full commercial aircraft spectrum, from 90-seat regional jets to large long-haul twin-aisle aircraft. China's big three carriers, Air China, China Eastern Airlines, and China Southern Airlines, could alone provide a market base for the C-939. Combined, they operate well over 100 large widebodies, including A350-900s, Boeing 777-300ERs, and 747-8s. A replacement cycle for these fleets could translate into demand for approximately 150 large jets. China has completed the preliminary designs for its upcoming jumbo aircraft, the C-939, which is expected to take the skies in the more distant future. This ambitious project aims to create a widebody twin-jet airliner positioned to compete with the Boeing 777, according to Mayor Patel. Asia head for OAG Aviation. The C-939 is projected to offer a range of roughly 13,000 kilometers. For comparison, the Boeing 777 accommodates between 301 and 368 passengers, with a range stretching from 9,700 to 15,840 kilometers. Therefore, if Comac can make it work, then we might just be seeing the emergence of a solid rival for Boeing in the long-haul travel business. Comac's ambitions face steep hurdles. China is still developing the capability to produce world-class jet engines, relying heavily on GE, Rolls-Royce, and other foreign suppliers. Interiors are being designed with help from French firms, and global maintenance networks are still in their infancy. Certification outside China is a slow, expensive process, and without it, Western Airlines remain hesitant. But every giant starts small. Airbus was once dismissed by Boeing as an upstart with no chance of cracking the market. Today, they're equals. Comac is betting that with persistence, it can follow the same path. And if they succeed, the skies over the next century could look very different indeed. While it remains unclear where Comac will source parts for the C-939, China is simultaneously developing its first turbofan commercial aircraft engine, the CJ-1000. However, aircraft of this scale face mounting challenges, growing environmental concerns over engine emissions and an industry trend favoring planes designed for shorter routes. Boeing's own 747 program, for example, ended in 2022, after half a century in production. Of course, this isn't a simple design it and they will come story. Comac still faces major hurdles, especially in global certification. The C919's journey to certification showed how tough it can be for a newcomer to meet Western regulatory requirements. Then there's the question of customer trust. 
Convincing airlines to commit to an all-new unproven aircraft type takes time, especially when they already have relationships with Airbus and Boeing. Supply chain reliability, after-sales support, and maintenance networks will also be critical. An aircraft isn't just a machine, it's an entire ecosystem of parts, training, and service. Without that, even the most advanced plane will struggle to win orders. According to a source familiar with Comax Progress, the company may need years before producing a testable prototype. Deliveries, industry experts say, are unlikely to begin for at least a decade, and even then, only if Comax secures sufficient resources, especially given its reliance on mostly imported components. Richard Abulafia, managing director of Aerodynamic Advisory, stressed that the program's success hinges heavily on these factors. A major hurdle remains China's reliance on foreign suppliers for critical components, particularly engines. The C-929 project was initially a joint venture with Russia's United Aircraft Corporation UAC, under the CR-929 name powered by Russia's planned PD-35 turbofan. Political and financial setbacks, compounded by Russia's invasion of Ukraine, pushed UAC into a supplier role rather than a full partner. Without a domestic alternative to high-thrust turbofans, the C-939 may need to depend on Western-made engines until China develops its own. This dependency also comes at a time when the aviation industry is under pressure to reduce emissions by 2050, adding uncertainty to the long-term viability of new wide-body projects. Despite the challenges, China's ambition to field a complete range of commercial aircraft should not be underestimated. COMAC, China's state-owned aircraft manufacturer, is entering a new stage of mass production for the domestically built C919. According to CCTV News, pilot training programs are being fast-tracked, with production expected to hit 50 units in 2025. The ecosystem supporting the C919 is growing rapidly. Shanghai Aircraft Flight Testing Engineering Company, LTD, a fully-owned COMAX subsidiary, was founded on December 31, 2024. The company will focus on engineering and technology research, meteorological services, general aviation, data processing, software sales, and leasing. This development signals a move toward industrializing flight testing and airworthiness certification. The C-909, China's first aircraft to meet both FAR-25, US, and CCAR-25, China, standards for transportation aircraft, has closed a major gap in the country's airworthiness certification process, as reported by the daily CPEC. This achievement not only strengthens technical capabilities, but also builds a full regulatory talent and process framework for bringing Chinese aircraft to global markets. Despite ambitious plans, COMAC faces a significant production bottleneck. The C919 has accumulated more than 1,500 orders, but to date, only 5 units have been delivered. COMAC aims to increase annual output to 150 aircraft by 2028, supported by an expanded manufacturing facility in Pudong, Shanghai, as reported by Reuters. Scaling production will be critical if COMAC hopes to meet demand while simultaneously bringing the C939 to market. The C-939 may still be in its infancy, but its ambitions are nothing short of bold, to challenge the giants of the wide-body world. If COMAC can follow through on its vision, the C-939 has the potential to reshape not only China's aviation landscape, but the global industry itself. It's a project to watch closely, as its success could mark a turning point in modern commercial flight. Stay tuned for more updates on this exciting chapter in aviation history.